when I watched this, now, was I, was I shocked that it, that it popped out? No. Was, was I expecting it to pop out? No. But I wasn't shocked that it popped out. It's high. It's high with a nose up in Heiser. High nose up Heiser has a chance to do that. That is, that is just what a high nose up putt can do when it hits high in the chains. Yes. I think probably what he's getting at is like situationally horrible spit out. But that's not a spit out. That's what I'm saying. Is like I think we need to redefine the definition of a spit out. I don't think a spit out is when a disc hits the change and doesn't go in. What is it? Or do you want or we or do we want to say every time a disc hits the chains and doesn't go in is a spit out? Is that is that what we're saying? I mean, you know my take on this whole thing. Because I think I think some people they won't say that. I think some I've people have seen a few you, spit outs in my life. I think okay. if people if you go high left on a basket, Yuli, you with missed. a lot of pace, you missed. I don't think people call that a spit out. And so the that's guy's what I'm not saying aiming is, for that spot. Correct. So that I mean here. My whole point with all the spit outs is that, and everything is where are you aiming and did you hit your spot? And if you hit your spot and it comes back to you, you're probably aiming at the wrong spot. A. But let's, let's not talk about that. Let's talk about what, what is the definition of spit out? When someone says, I got to spit out, I think we have to know what that definition means, right? If you say it goes, I in, lip- it goes in and then it comes back towards you, that should be a definition of what people think is a spit out. Okay, it so goes it, into it goes, the chains and, it the, and then it straight put, backwards. Yeah. Okay. Not so like what, to the side, not a push out, but it has to come back and fr- like wait, what that guy putted to me would be a the definition out. of a spit out. Okay. So what, yes. what are we calling when the disc hits the front of the chains, goes vertical, knifes, and then goes out the back? Cut through. Okay. So we have a spit out, mm-hmm. a cut through, and a push out. Yep. Okay. I'm, I'm good with that. I'm good if we all if we all agree with that. I'm good with it. There's just too many times where people say, "Oh man, that was a spit out," and I'm like, "No, no, it wasn't." That was yes, a, I would that say that that guy butt. had a had a a spit out. Okay, and not all spit outs are equal. No, let's say that too. No, not all spit outs are equal. I mean, Proctor's little twelve footer on that that hill hole at worlds i think that's way worse than this guy's oh for sure yeah right so oh, not absolutely. all spit out the equal i like this all right hey we got to sp- now from moving forward Nick everyone's on tor- the same hole spit out tour life crew here we go let's be the movement let's be the movement let's start I think everybody the- does think that all these things there might be as that's what i'm saying everyone just says spit out for everything let's make a movement and push we oh, got gotcha. three yeah. words we got spit out we got push out and we got sp- uh uh cut through, cut through. Let's use the terminology correctly. I like it. Terminology is important, Yuli. Yeah. Spit through, says Mad Dog. I don't know about that. Um, you know what? The other thing that's kind of shocking about this, mm. he said this was for the gold medal match against Estonia. The guy was wearing a Team Canada shirt. Yuli, there was a world championship that took place this past weekend. What? Did anyone know that this was happening? It's like an overall thing, right? So this is with Diff. Uh, yeah, yeah. World yeah. Federation Diff, Disc. World Championship. This used to be like one of the biggest tournaments back what, in the day. What is happening here? Like this is a massive thing in, in Ultimate. This is a massive thing in Ultimate. Everyone yep. knows how to qualify. Your yep. team has to fit. For the United States, your team has to finish top three in, uh, at the National Championship to qualify for the World Championships, with Diff uh, Championships. What's going on with this? First off, the marketing I think for this was terrible. I didn't hear I didn't I didn't hear anything about it. Uh, this would have been a great event for like someone to come on these podcasts and talk. Like we've gotten people sending us emails saying, "Hey, want to talk about this? Want to do this, this, and this?" Like there was like no marketing about this. Like you can't just say like a Facebook post from someone. A lot of is um, the marketing kind of. A uh, few generations back, like like um, like Juliana Corver, like even Crazy John, I think mentioned something about it. Uh, this was like a big tournament back in the day for overall, and then they had like uh, I think this is the one where they have like the guts and all those different things. It's like a all in one type thing, so you could do the ultimate, the freestyle, 
and then there is a disc golf portion of it as well. And it, I might be I might be wrong about that, but I think that that's what comes to mind when I look at this. I think that's what it is. It's an overall deal. Yeah. What, it's just I I think the mark the yeah, marketing trash is really yeah. bad. bad. You you look at this compared to let's say Brixton disc golf cards, right? Brixton disc golf cards is on fire right now. People are talking about it. People are posting about it. Disc golf Brix, Brixton is doing a great job marketing. This is this should be a massive event. This should be a massive event. Um, do you know any one that played for the United States team? college player played for the United States. I can't remember his What's name. What's a team? Yes. So there's multiple players. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm th- I'm saying I know of one person. Okay. I can picture his face. Do you have any idea what the selection process was for this? Invitation? How, like how how do you qualify to play for team USA at the WIF diff? Um I I'm going on out on left field here, and I'm going to say he won the collegiate tournament. What about all these other players? I'm looking oh, no, at like yeah, a I'm bunch tr- of names. I'm trying to find one at this point. <laughs> yeah. So this was this I, was I'm Team USA. I'm pretty US- sure I've been invited to play before in years past. This was Team USA. Corey, uh, Corey Gerber Dolan. Yeah, that's. I think that's the guy. Kevin Gleason. Gavin Cunningham. Andrew Brown, who used to play Ultimate Frisbee, uh, Leah Tisinigini, Chris Villa, um, Samuel Henderson, Kevin Gleason, Christy Ac- Acton, John Willis. All right, there's one name I know. John Willie played? And Elizabeth Imminger. Uh, let me just think real quick. Let me think of some names that I did not see for Team USA here. Uh, Gannon Burr did not did not see Gannon there. Um, Ricky Wysocki didn't didn't see him there. Uh, Paul McBeth, Anthony Barella, uh, Isaac Robinson. What is happening? Well, it's a team tournament, and so did all these people get? Did these all these people get invited, and they all said no? I don't want to go. Probably, I find that hard to believe. I guess, but I mean, we already won. We already they, won the Presidents Cup. What do we? What else do we have to prove? What do you mean? We got six at this. What are you talking about? No, I know, but with all those people that you're, we played the best players in the world, and we won. This is no, no, at no, the no. Presidents this, Cup. This is way cooler. Oh, for sure. This this is this could be a a huge event. This is like the Olympics. This could be mm-hmm. this golf Olympics, and we got six. It used to be. I'm telling you. I think back in the day, it used to be like the big a big deal. We got we got six. We lost to Czech Republic and Norway and Australia. Who did they have? Anybody you know? Well, I mean Estonia. I think they had. Um, I think Estonia ended up winning. And Estonia had some had some decent name people over there. So some of these teams actually like did Pride. something to get people. Uh, they had uh, Katie Tati, Albert Tam, uh, oh, Mari Vil- Vilman. Um, so they had they had good yeah. Some hey, of these teams. Six, six ain't too bad for sending our D team. But but yeah, I, I, this is another thing that I think is a swing and a miss. I think this could have been a really cool tournament if you had some of the biggest names playing in it. Are you going to play it next year? If you get an invite? If they invite me, yeah. What the heck? That'd be sick. All right, you hear hear me and Brody and I are in next year. Yeah. Should I be playing in it? Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. There's me, probably you and John Willie, dude. We're going to take it down. <laughs> there's 30 guys, 40 guys that should play in it before me, but heck, if they're just going to let anyone and everyone sign up and that's just how they're going to do it, I'll play. Yeah, we can't My be. Gosh losing some sort of world championships that's crazy talk i just think this could be no this i hear could what be a saying. big I deal agree. it was I a agree. big deal in ultimate frisbee is what i'm trying to say yeah it was a big deal in ultimate frisbee it was the only time there was a couple other events that ended up happening but it was one of the few times that you could represent and and the nice thing too is you stayed on your uh club team so the team that you played for nationals 
you, you went stayed on the that team. team. So we ha- you would have three United States teams competing. So it's not like you're playing with rando people. You're playing with your brothers, yeah. right? So, um, yeah, I don't know. Very interesting. Very interesting.